I will never forget sitting in an undergrad class with Dr. Paul Alexander. It was a ethics class and we were discussing the issue of generosity and giving. And I think someone said something along the lines of, well, of course people should give because if, God, if they give, then God will bless them financially. Just look at Luke 6.38. And so our professor said, okay, let's look at at Luke 6, but I want you to start reading in verse 37. And so verse 37 says, Do not judge, and you will not be judged. Do not condemn, and you will not be condemned. Forgive, and you will be forgiven. Give, and it will be given to you. A good measure, pressed down, shaken together, running over. Will it be poured into your lap? For with the measure you use, it will be measured to you. And it was this aha moment for me because my whole life I had read Luke 6.38 as this promise that if you give financially to the Lord, that it will be given back to you where the promise is however you judge people that's how you're going to be judged so I tell that story because I think that there's this general idea that is a misnomer if we give to God what we can expect in return is financial blessing what Paul actually says in this passage is that if we give to the Lord what we can expect in return is is to receive contentment that what we can expect in return is that if we are giving generously, God will teach us how to be happy with what we have and not need more to experience true joy and fulfillment in life. And what an amazing gift is that.